Hi everybody, it's Peter from Turfman UK and welcome to a video that we've been hoping to do for quite a while but haven't been able to because we've been put off by the uh, pretty inclement weather we've had here in Keswick in the Lake District and that is to show you the preparation work that we do at the start of a season to get the bowling green ready for play. Uh, so I'm going to just turn the camera around and show you Mike who started work already. There he is, he's scarifying the green. And Mike will do two passes of the green with the Graydon. And the Graydon is fitted, we fitted it this morning with the one mil width blades. So quite a narrow blade. And we're going down to a depth of, well I'll show you the depth. I'll just get my coin and we'll put that in the one of the scarification grooves. Press that down and pull it out. And there we go, we can see we've gone to a depth of two to three mil, which what we're trying to do at the start of the year is to just freshen up the surface more than anything else. We're not trying to rip out too much material. Uh, so yeah, Mike's gonna be doing two passes with the with the Graydon Scarifier. Um, and then after Mike's finished, we'll collect all that rubbish up and uh, onto the second part of the job, which will be to solid time the green and um, we'll be solid tining the green with a three quarter inch time to a depth of uh, around about four to five inches to uh, get as much air in as we possibly can I've just finished two passes with the uh, Graydon Scarifier at around about minus three mil so I've done two passes, uh, as you can maybe see from whether you can pick those lines up. But uh, yeah, that's uh, you can see some of them there. Not too, not too bad, not too aggressive because obviously it's start of the season. And um, this is Pete, who's now going with the Dennis with the vertical cassette in, just set to just lightly pick up the debris that's been left. As you can see here, these are the risings that we take out of the green. Uh, that's, as you can see, it's quite friable stuff. There's a lot of rubbish and not a great deal of what you would call live grass in there, but you could obviously see there's a bit of dark uh, where the moss has come out. And we tend to do this, we've done it most years, for the past four or five years. So just to give you an idea of how much um, material we've taken off the bowling green today, um, that's before I've cut, so that's everything that's come off with scarifying and collecting. I would say there's a good uh, 8 to 10 wheelbarrow loads there that's come off today, which is a reasonable amount but nowhere near as much as we would take off at the back end. Uh, so the idea really today was just to get rid of anything that's accumulated over the winter and to freshen the surface up, which it's hopefully done. So Mike is now in the process of solid tining the bowling green to a depth of around about three to four inches to try and get in as much air as we can before the season starts and the wear starts on the green. Um, we're going to be top dressing next after we've done this to try and improve the uh, texture of the soil, make it more friable, get that uh, top dressing worked in as far down as we can, uh, should they help aid with uh, root development. So just to give you an idea of how far we've gone down in the green, pop a, see that, pop that in there take it back out and show you how far that's gone in. There we go, about three to four inches. And we'll put upwards of a million holes in a bowling green of uh, around 1,600 square metres. Uh, so that's giving the green plenty air of air at the start of the year. And then once we finish this, I'll, put, I'll got, carry on behind Mike and cut the green. I'll set the mower up at uh, six mil. So that'll be its first uh, sort of springtime cut of the year. 
should take a little bit more material off the green as well then. So here we are, uh, it's now just before five o'clock so we've had a fairly long day today. Uh, been, yeah, really pleased the way it's, it's turned out. We've double cut, double scarified twice with the graden. We've cleaned it off with the uh, Dennis FT with the Verticut unit in. We've pro cord it and Peter's just topped it off with the Dennis at 6mm. So really all we've got to do is come back in a couple of days once the top dressing's been delivered and we'll uh, top dress the green and stick the fertiliser on. So we'll do a video when we're doing that. So we're back a couple of days later and as you can see we're applying our top dressing to the green. The top dressing consists of 70% sand and 30% soil and we're putting that on at a rate of two tonnes to the entire green. Well, top dressing at this time of the year will certainly help with uh, the playability of the green but it will also help with the general well-being of the grass plant. Improving the texture of the soil will help with uh, drainage. It'll also help with root development of the grass plant and also its ability to take up nutrient that is available in the soil as well as the reduction of the volume of moss on the green. Generally throughout the year we'll put on uh, around about six tons of top dressing on the green. We'll put obviously two on at the start of the season, two more during the playing season then, and then before we put the uh, green to bed in the autumn we'll put on another two. So once we finish top dressing, we'll get the drag mat out and go around the green and drag mat all the material into the surface. That will help with aiding the smoothing of the playing surface along with ameliorating uh, some of the top dressing further down into the profile. So Mike's completing the final part of the job, which is to apply the fertilizer. We're using Green Master Coal Star, which is 11% nitrogen, 5% phosphorus, and 5% potash with 8% iron. Uh, we'll put that on at a rate of 225 kilogram bags for the green, and that should stay in the soil for approximately six weeks. have any questions, suggestions or topics that you would like us to cover, please leave them in the comments below.